Hey guys, I'm Hi. Jenna, <laughs> also known as Ayla13. Uh, this is a, another collaboration video to mark 2,000 subscribers, and I'm here today with my friend Helena. Hi. Hi. And uh, we're going to be painting Maylock the Dreadbound, which is a Minions model from the War Machine game. So, how would you? How long have you been painting? First I've of all? been painting for about two years. Two years. Um, yeah, only really painted War Machine. It's the first war game I've ever gotten into. Really enjoying it. Um, and I'm a bad role model. <laughs> no, you're a great role model. She has to say that because she's not coming up. Okay, and um, how would you describe your Maylock style? Because we are uh, painting them quite different today. So my Maylock, I've gone for a really zombified, somewhat oozy look. He's well and truly dead. Maybe it's been a bit too long in the sun. And I he's would, on a swamp base as well, right? He's on a swamp base, and I definitely would not want to be within nose range of him. Right. <laughs> so um, mine is painted on a desert style base because I already had a selection of Gatorman models for my Legion of Everblight list, and so I wanted them to match. So mine is a little bit more fresh. Meaty. <laughs> Meaty, that's right. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we hope you enjoy, and yeah. uh, let's get started. So with my Maylock, I started out uh, lightly priming him with black. I then let him dry and airbrushed him with Bone White, which is another Game Air Vallejo paint. I then went and filled in the fleshy bits, like all the really exposed muscles with a P3 Sanguine Base. Over a white undercoat, I started with a base coat of Scrag Brown. When that was dry, I washed it with Nuln Oil. I dry brushed the scales with Scrag Brown and the spine with Rhinox Hide. I painted his belly with Rakath Flesh, washed it with Agrax Earthshade, and dry brushed it again with Rakath Flesh. I then picked up all the side flaps on his side over the ribs with Bloody Red. Um, I then gave a very heavy dry brush to his scales with Panzer Base's Flesh Base colour. I roughly filled in his underside with the P3 Thrall Flesh to start with, to, to, just to show the contours of the, the muscles. And then I gave it a very heavy wash with Athonian Camo Shade. I painted the muscles Scorn Red and washed them with a mix of Agrax Earthshade and Karaberg Crimson. I base coated the bone with Rakath Flesh mixed with bone, then washed it with Agrax Earthshade and highlighted it back with the base colour. I painted the flesh strips in the inside of his mouth with Cardic Flesh and washed them with Reichland Flesh Shade. The tongue was highlighted with Cardic Flesh. I then started to pick up my leather straps with um, P3 Bloodstone, mostly because I couldn't stand looking at flesh for a few minutes. Um, and then I went back to it with picking the skin flaps up with Cardic Flesh. Um, I then went and picked up his skeleton with Game Colors Bone White and the loincloth with Imperial Blue. The shrunken head was painted with Thrall Flesh and washed with Athonian Camo Shade. The wood and cloth were painted with Steel Legion Drab and washed with Agrax Earthshade. These were highlighted with Steel Legion Drab, mixing bone in for the final highlight. Okay, I then went over all the bone pieces that weren't part of Maylock's skeleton with uh, P3 Jackbone um, and painted the pot with a plain black. Um, I then did the branches that the candles stick up on with Gun Corpse Brown and the wires with Gun Metal. I painted the metal with pig iron. It was washed with a mix of Agrax Earthshade and Nulm Oil. I highlighted it back with pig iron. The severed head's hair was painted with Iron Ball Grey and washed with Nulm Oil. I then painted my shrunken head on the front uh, with Thrall Flesh and then made a dirty blonde colour for his hair using Flat Yellow, Jackbone and Gun Corpse Brown. I then went back and washed my Maylock with sepia over the bone sections and another coat of the camo shade over the flesh sections. The feather at his waist was painted Meridius Blue, washed with Azurman Blue, then highlighted again with Meridius Blue. The straps and bottle were painted Mornfang Brown and the ropes and dolly with Rucksack Tan. These were then washed with Agrax Earthshade. 
I used ba um, P3's Battle Dress Green for the bottle and Model Color Bronze for the little sensor on his side and I did my feather with Arcane Blue. I then went and washed nearly all of Maylock. I used a sepia tone over the bone sections, both for um, actual Maylock bones and for the skulls that he's wearing. I then washed everything else that wasn't scale or flesh with a black wash. His eyes were painted with frostbite and highlighted with white. The candles were painted with troll blood highlight and highlighted by mixing in white. The flames were painted with Cadal red highlight, then highlighted with heart fire followed by Cygnus yellow. The candles were glazed with heart fire to create a simple glow effect. I washed all the fleshy bits with um, P3 flesh wash just to fill in some detail. And I also did the same over the lines where there are stitches. I then used um, Game Color Sip Green for the candles with the top of the candles being done with a slightly lightened um, green using a few drops of white. I then did the flames using Heartfire for the first dab on the flame, then a flat yellow, then a fluoro yellow, then a tiny dab of riser rust for an orange, um, just to make it look like it's on fire. I painted the base with Doom Ball Brown, then washed it with Nuln Oil. Then I dry brushed it successively with Doom Ball Brown, Scrag Brown, Zamisi Desert, and finally with Screaming Skull. The wood and bones on the base were painted the same way as they were on the rest of the model. So now that Maylock was all painted, it was time for the fun stuff. I got out my Nurgle's Rot and dabbed that in all the, most of the over most of the flesh flaps and on a few points of exposed bone like his kneecap. I then took Blood for the Blood God and dabbed that in anywhere else that looks like it should be a bloody oozing wound. I filled in the eye on his skull with just a plain black and just painted the other with a bright green with a slight black line through it. I then base coated the base with a battle dress green. I then mottled that with a dark brown. After this, I scattered sand and some small rocks. I then placed a couple of bits, tufts of static grass and let that all dry. I then came back and filled the base with a greenish tinted resin and let that dry for the real swampy look. The claws and teeth were painted Zemisi Desert and then highlighted with Screaming Skull. I then liberally applied Blood for the Blood God. I added grass tufts and static grass to the base and finished it off with a black rim. And here are the finished models. Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed. If you uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye bye.